pronouns in Yungamaka are slightly different to that in English in that they go into more detail. So in English we just have um, not a lot of detail as you can see that we've got down the side here with the English so we've got a lot of rep repetition which the we etc. Whereas in Yungamaka they go into more detail so they also have inclusive and exclusive and what that means is whether or not you're including the person who's listening to what you're saying or that you're telling the story about. So when we say Nali, that means you and me, just the two people talking, that we're going to go do something. If you say Linyo, then that means you and one other person, but not the person you're talking to about it. So it could be a person standing next to me you're explaining to that you and your sister might be going somewhere, but not them. And Manda means they, just two, whereas if you want they, plural, You've got wala, um, and you've also got we, inclusive and exclusive, with more than two people. So There's a lot to get your head around, and it takes a while to get used to the concept of um, whether or not you include or ex are excluding the person listening. But after a while, well, I myself found myself getting frustrated with English that we can say we but it doesn't always say whether or not you're including the person listening to what you're saying or that you're talking about we're going to the shop well does that we mean me and you and the pers other person or does it just mean me and this other person are going to the shop but not you so it's a fascinating part about learning languages thinking about how your own language works